I know that the enemy has been after your life. He's been on high alert. I know the enemy has been attacking you left and right, getting on your last nerve, using people around you to get on your nerves, doing all kinds of weird stuff. I'm talking about causing arguments left and right. Like what in the world is really going on? The enemy has been using these people because he sees the breakthrough that is on your life. He knows that your faith is way more stronger than what it was before. <laughs> like you've been walking in faith like none other. And so he feels like he has to use the individuals that can get to you. So hear me when I say this, don't fall for the schemes of the enemy because that's what he wants you to do. He wants you to argue back and forth with these folks. He wants you to talk crazy about these people. Oh, they know they wrong. They did me wrong. You know, don't even play the victim, baby. Just keep it moving and keep grooving and moving like you've been doing in God's spirit. Okay. In the Holy Spirit. Don't even worry about these folks. Listen. Many of you have detected that you have a group of people that just literally are just sick in the head, like concerning your life, concerning your big come up, concerning the things that you have been receiving in Christ Jesus. I mean, you've been getting blessings on top of blessings, but this group of people seems to continue to try and do the things that they've been doing. But you got to thank God for grace and mercy. You got to thank God for his protection. You got to thank God for his grace. I'm telling you, because when it comes to God, he is making sure he continues to walk with you and even scheme on your end. I ain't gonna say scheme. Let me not say that word. What's the word I'm looking for? He's been making sure that he brings vengeance up on your enemies, okay? Because he knows that what you about, you about your father's business. You about that life for real, for real. See, when you serious about God's life, you serious about your walk with the Lord, he ain't gonna play about you. He not playing anyway, but think about it. If you got somebody behind your back and your best friend is like hearing these people talk crazy about you, they gonna be like, they supposed to, right? Step up for you. Look, don't don't talk about her. She ain't here to talk about it. Don't talk about him. He ain't here to fend for himself. So why you got to say something now? Like, that's how God is about you. But it's 10 times harder. Like, don't play with that one. Don't, don't touch my anointing one. Don't do that. I done told you time and time again not to touch that one. All of the things that you dealt with, has been. it comes from the source of your adversary, the devil, the enemy. He wants you to think that God has given up on you, that he done left you, that you ain't got nobody around because see, most of these people done left. And you wondering why, where everybody at? Why ain't nobody around? Where everybody, what everybody doing? What they up to? You ain't got to worry about them because see, God is going to bring more to you who are serious about God's business too. He He going to bring people around you. He ain't, you, don't, you don't supposed to have them type of folks around you. See, he put, he saved you and he protected you. What they say, rejection is God's protection. That's on real life for you. That's on God, like for real. That's on there, like for real, on my soul. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Like, listen, that, that I don't play about you. I'm for real about you and I'm coming after your enemies and you don't have nothing to worry about. So all of the stress and everything that you've been thinking about how they done treated you, you don't have to sit here and think about when is God going to do this? When is God going to touch this person? When is he going to make them do what's right? When is it? Don't worry about it because it's going to happen in due season right now. All you got to think about is the miracles and the blessings that's being bestowed upon your life. That That's all you got to look on game. Like for real, you ain't, you ain't got to worry about nothing else, but that the th think about that. Think, keep hoping in the things that God has promised you because he's bringing them to you. He bringing them to you. And the way that them blessings are about to be so blessing, baby, you about to look so good. You going to feel so right. You going to understand that everything that you did for God was worth it. Of course, we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God and who are called according to his plan and purpose. We know that. It's basically like, let me show you off. That's basically what God is saying. I'm going to show you off right in front of them, even though. They allowed the enemy because you got to understand that they have a choice whether they're going to allow the enemy to use them or not. So when they did all of these things and when they go behind your back doing crazy stuff, when they're so pressed about your impression on God, they got to know that they made the choice to mess with the wrong one. See, that's the thing. Because we know for ourselves that we could have chose to live out our will over what God wanted for us. But we understood the assignment and we came to do it. Do you hear me? We understood the assignment and we set an example for it. But they didn't want to follow the example. 
most of these individuals have sought out envy against you. They're envious because you're so obedient to the most high because they know who they God is. The father of lies, the father of manipulation. Hmm. We know who that is, but we know who our God is. We know who we serve. We know exactly what to do. We don't know exactly what to do, but we know to follow in God's leading. So as you're following his leading, just know that things are turning around for your good. Things are going to turn out for you the way that it should. That was never an ending for you. They wanted you to be ended. They wanted things to go so wrong for you. They didn't want you to have nothing. When I tell you these people did not want what was best for you, but God saw the best in you. He saw the best in you. And he making it happen. Blessings on top of blessings. So you might as well get ready to do your praise dance. When you get that new car, I want you to praise dance around that car. When you get that job, I want you to praise him at that job. When you get that new home, I want you to praise dance all over that home. All around the outside of the perimeters. Praise him. See, I was listening to a word today and it said that when you give glory to God, that's where your blessings, that's where the wealth and the blessings are at. He says, I will give you according to my riches in glory. Give glory to God. That's where your blessings and your wealth lies. According to his riches. That's where your riches are. And see, that's the thing. I don't even think I got to tell you that because you already know. That's why they so pressed about you. So everything that you're doing, keep doing it. In fact, go 10 times harder for God. Type in the comments, I'm going 10 times harder. 10 times harder. So when I went through my situations, things like that you're going through, you know, we all going through or went through, you know, those things where situations seem to get worse before they get better. Like, I mean, the quiet before the storm, like when is this ending? When I went through that, I felt as though like I had nothing. There was no one there. I lost everything. I, I lost the sun. Like, I mean, I was just all over the place. But I began to thank God for the time that I had with him. I began to thank God for the, the, the vacations, the blessings, the happiness, the people around. Being thankful and grateful continued to help me, although my enemies felt like they won, you know. And that's what I'm saying. Your enemies think they have gotten to the point to where they have gotten over you. That everything they set up against you actually worked. See, they see the they see things on the outside, but they don't know what's to come. See, God knows what he has planned for you. He knows what's best for you. He knew that when you went through your situation, you went through an humbling situation. God has to humble us sometimes. And you know, we have to sit ourselves down and say, okay, God, handle your business, handle your business and just allow him to continue to do what he's doing so he can change. Cause a lot of things happen, but they also happen to help us to get through, to even see that we need to be humbled. I mean, and I'm, I'm here to tell you, God will humble you. But at the end, when that situation comes to, when you start to see the light at the end of the tunnel, you'll start to see the blessings in it. That's why I'm telling you, give God the glory. Give him the glory and see how quickly your life shifts every time you're doing something. When you're cooking food in the, in the kitchen, give him glory. When you're washing dishes, give him glory. When your kids arguing back at you, give him glory. Thank God that you have them. You know what I'm saying? Give God the glory no matter what you're going through. And you're going to see how his blessings begin to shift. And of course, your enemies will see all of it. But they're going to know not to mess with a child of a God. They're going to know not to mess with a child of the Most High God. They're going to know not to mess with you. And see, you don't have to sit there and wait on the ball to drop, on the other shoe to drop, to see when your enemies going to go through what they're going to go through. Because God is already working some blessings out for you. You're going to be too busy thanking God and giving him the glory. You're going to be too busy handling your business for him that you ain't even worry about them. Because that's how it's supposed to be. They're going to be worrying about you. They're going to be looking at you like, dang, I should have never done that. You darn right. You darn skippy that you should have never done it. But that's the thing. The blessings that he is about to bestow upon your life are going to be many, 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 many blessings. And the glory, all, all he wants you to do is give him glory in all of it. So remember to always give God the glory, even when your enemies <laughs> try to clap back, even when they try to bring you down. And they, even when they try to bring you to your lowest, even when they persecute you, keep giving him the glory for all things. Because you will see 
everything coming to you according to his riches in glory. That's right. Ain't I right? Type in the comments. I know that's right. I know that's right, baby. Because God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Y'all make sure y'all put some hand claps in that comments. Okay? Put some hand claps in that comments. The way God is about to bless you, give him glory. Type in the comments, glory. This and that, don't, don't go nowhere. I'm. I, we got books, y'all. We got books for days. We got. I got more in the box, okay? And, and my book is available. And I'm going to put the link in the description bar below. I'm going to need you go, to go and get my book. Yes, we calling this the bestseller, okay? Because th this is my main book right here. And I'm going to need y'all to go ahead and get that book so you can read it. I'm telling y'all, it's, it's a lot of stuff in this book. That's going to help you through your life of going through what you're going through. Whatever you got going. Your circumstance. The power of God to help you get through it. All of that is in this book. Okay. It's going to help you with what you're going through. All right. All right. I will go ahead and end it here. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video. Let everybody know that your girl. What she is? She's still here. Ain't going nowhere. You better know it. I love y'all so much. Give to the channel. Cash up. Dollar sign. Diva TV. Or super thanks. Which is the heart down below. With the dollar sign. In the middle. Alright. Do your thing baby. Do your thing. Peace and blessings. Mwah.